Hello, welcome to Rosalora. If you've never been with us before, then this is my way of welcoming you in. And if you have been, welcome back. It's lovely to see you again. Today, uh, the digital piece that I'm going to be working on is of my D&D character, Naf Eber Exley. So unlike some of the other speed paints that I've done on the channel so far, this is going to be a personal piece. Uh, Naf is a character that I made for a 5th edition campaign. She is a fey touched human ranger, and she is not super fond of the fact that she is fey touched Her house colors, she comes from a minor noble family, are gold and maroon and indigo, and so oftentimes when I draw Naf, she wears uh, armor and uh, fabrics in those colors. Even though she's been cut off from her family and is considered a disgrace because of becoming Fae Touched, she still has this loyalty to them, uh, despite the fact that they, you know, sent some guys out to try and kill her. <laughs> but I wanted to do something very different with this piece stylistically as far as dressing Naf. Because her usual colors are very autumnal, very heavy golds, these really deep and beautiful maroons and indigos, I wanted to do something very different. When Naf became Fey Touched, her aspect is winter. Uh, and with that comes the first frost, snow, ice, and everything else associated with that time of year. Naf isn't very fond of that, uh, but it's something that she is slowly coming to embrace a little bit more over the course of the campaign and to make a look that wanted that was going to be representative of a bit of a change in mindset for her this kind of embracing i wanted to do something that played around with silvers and whites and uh, colder blues instead of the colors that she usually wears. So we have a gambeson with a lovely quilted pattern. I think quilted gambeson looks are one of my favorites as far as doing characters in armor. Uh, and then the gambeson has a sort of like a barren tree on it, something that she would definitely not usually choose for herself. The puff sleeves I have sort of like cut or like ribboned in the middle. Uh, usually naf sleeves have like one large round puff so I kind of wanted to make the silhouette that I was dealing with both familiar and unfamiliar for her she of course has a sword belt and she has some quivers that are hanging off at the thighs so naf is primarily I would say an archer but she is very well versed in swordsmanship the sword that I have her resting her hands on is actually named Silvery Little Thing. Uh, usually Silver has an indigo wrap of probably leather around the hilt, but in order to kind of help him stand out in this piece, I wanted to give that bit of red. Uh, you know, red is such a passionate color, it's bloodlust, it's anger, it's lust in general and incorporating just that little bit close to her center, I think is important. It kind of captures for me that inner fire, even though she's embracing this sort of coldness, this aspect of cold that is within her. Now the style that she's wearing is supposed to be what, you know, we refer to in sort of the campaign as like a runish court style. Now, Runish court styling, Rune is a fictional country, duh, and it's not a uh, fifth edition, um, like, base. Uh, my dungeon master has homebrewed a whole world. It's really great. I love working within it. And Rune is this country of knights that Naf is from. So I wanted to play around with a design that I had originally made, which I'm going to put on screen, uh, kind of emphasizing the idea of this half-armored half decadent uh, sort of look, uh, still playing on the idea of little pearls, which are on the gambus in itself in this piece. Uh, I kind of let her hair be out and flowing instead of up in a headdress, just because I like drawing her hair. You can see me highlighting it right now. Um, Nav's hair is <laughs> 
almost like a wild animal unto itself. Uh, when she became Fey touched, it actually became like tangle proof, uh, which was something that I actually asked the DM for so that I could kind of justify not having her cut it all off. Uh, it's a lot of hair to manage, you know, I wanted her to feel comfortable. But I wanted to find this really lovely mix of runish fashion styling with the gauntlets, uh, with the gorget, with everything, and be able to still find that bit of fey-touched nature in her. Being able to find the combination of her personality through her heritage and her past and what she's had to leave behind and then what's in the future for her. What is she going to have to accept and embrace if she is going to thrive in her new life? Uh, so yeah, this was uh, NAF. I hope that you enjoyed this little video. Um, I'm sure that more art of her will be coming soon. <laughs> I want to say thank you to my patrons that helped me make art, especially Banjo, Confocal Clips, and Deator, who are my $15 patrons. But thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, and remember, it's all gonna be okay. See you next time. <laughs>